Hi guys, um, Average Joe here with a quick tutorial on how to try and fix your Truma Ultra Heater. Um, going back last year I had uh, a problem with my electric side and um, you turn it on and it'll just light up and you're waiting forever for it to warm up if it ever did. Um, you could hear it click in, nothing would happen on mine but I have heard people saying that they got heat on certain settings um, but it wouldn't warm up hardly anything. Um, what I found helped me is on mine. I'll just quickly show you. Um, just bear with me a sec while I try and take the cover off. Um, on, on mine, you just basically pull it forward like so. So it, it's off. Pull forward. Just bear in mind on this that um, you've got you have got electric cable. Which feeds the fan operation and speed and that, but it can be on this side, depending if you've got a gas and electric or whichever. Um, so and then just let me just come back up so you can see. You basically once it's off like that, you pull up and it out she comes to, re to reveal um, the the inside. Um, and then here she is. Uh, basically, it's not a lot to them. On this model, like I said, it's gas, and behind that is the electric element, which you need to get to, because that's what I had the problem with. To get to the electric side, you've got to take off the gas. If you're not confident enough to muck around with gas, leave it alone and leave it to the experts. Um, I'm certainly no expert, but I'm confident enough to give it a go myself and try and save money. And this is why I'm giving this little video out to you, to see if you could try and do the same, because... Some of the places you take these caravans to uh, just rip you off basically with the price of things and um, because it's nothing out there for you to learn and do it yourself. So first of all you start off by taking screws out each around the bottom of the gas part. If you haven't got this it's easier for you again. Um, you've also got to go outside of your caravan and underneath uh, underneath there there is the feed for the gas which you unbolt and then this you have to pull up and then it's quite heavy so you need two hands and pull it up and out of the way once you've done that oh actually there's also this pipe here this pipe is your, your uh, extraction once you undo this there is a red rubber seal and basically once you undo that you can't reuse that seal you need to buy a new one which are about three four quid on ebay um, but that's just basically for um, safety purposes I wouldn't risk it um, carbon monoxide is very dangerous and that is a must you must replace that seal that goes around there um, once this is out it reveals um, your electric side if I just get a torch quick for you guys um, sorry about this and there, and there you can see the heater element in there and just in there there are two thermostats screwed basically to to the metal surround um, and basically <clears throat> on mine they totally disintegrated they were about the size of a 10 pence piece and you've got wires coming from each end of them so they're pretty distinctive and you'll know exactly what you're looking for um, on a case it might just be one that's why you only get the temperature going up so far on mine like I said it was two gone so it wouldn't work at all um, but you, and that's it's just a case of um, being on constantly from the previous owner because uh, overuse and they just get so hot they just basically crumble um, but to get to that you've got to undo the um, screws around the outside to get this metal frame off you just keep on unscrewing all the screws and then you reveal the um, extraction fan behind for the electric side for the air blown system um, which is a bit of a pain to undo and once you've undone it you've got to make sure you put it back the same way otherwise the pipes could come loose um, but once you've taken the electric side off and that is basically replace them and put it all back the way you found it basically and if you can do that you're laughing make sure all the screws go back and that and then make sure you plug everything back in Put the fire back on 
I'm not going to put it back on now because it's awkward holding the fire. But once you put the fire back on, it should should work, and then you've just saved yourself a good couple of quid. A little tip though: be very careful if you are going to remove this. It only clips on. But be very careful as it costs a lot of money to replace one of these. It'll pull off quite easily. Just be very careful because. As you can see there, sorry for my dodgy camera angle. In there, there's a little board. Let's see if I can show you with the torch. In there, see it there. There's a little board, and that board is about 80 to 90 quid to replace, give or take. It's not cheap. So, being heavy handed with this sort of uh, equipment can cost you a lot more than taking it somewhere to be repaired. So, give it a go and see how you get on. I hope this video helps you slightly, but if you want any more advice or anything else, subscribe to my channel or give me a like or give me a comment below and uh, I'll try and get back to you on anything else I can help you with. Like I said, I've had numerous problems with my caravan and still having problems now. Um, so yeah, I can if, if I can help you with you as I can try and I'm all up for saving my, anybody money because that's what I like to do save money because why should you give it to other people you're hard earned cash so like I said I give it I fit in my own microwave myself and it's, things like this if you're willing to give it a try do it because you can save a lot of money um, so just subscribe to me and I'll try and get some more videos out of whatever you would uh, fancy like th I got another video of that blind there I've never fixed one of them, but my blind won't go up on its own. It's probably because it's been in storage and it's been left like that position. Now that's another video. If you want to hear more about that, give me a, um, a like and I will do one for that um, and other things. Um, yep, yeah, so thank you very much guys and enjoy saving money. Goodbye.